אוקיי. בשם השם נעשה ונצליח. This Torah uh, thought is dedicated for the complete refuah שלם of my father, שלמה חיים בן פארי. This week's parsha is parsha is Tazria Metzora. And we talk about the leper. Metzora means motzi shemra. In ancient times, in the wilderness, when Moses, the Jews were together with Moses for 40 years, anybody that spoke gossip or spread false rumors, Lashon Ara, would f- get a spiritual sickness on the walls of his house. If he didn't repent, it would come on his clothing. If he still didn't repent, it would come on his physical body. He would get a type of leprosy and he'd get kicked out of the camp. Now the question the Chafetz Chaim asks in the second chapter of Shar HaZechira in Shmirat HaLashon is, we know all the problems of the world come from Lashon Hara. We don't find God sending a spiritual sickness if you're stingy or lazy or cruel. Why does God, out of all the different sins that we have, He only sends a special direct sickness for the sin of negativity, talking evil from your mouth, which is a type of character assassination. And we know that it's such a horrible crime. A lot of people say, okay, it's just words. But no, the Talmud says, make no mistake. Lashon Hara is such a spiritually dangerous sin. It's equal to murder, idol worship, and adultery put together. And the answer the Chafetz Chaim gives is, we know that God is our Avinu Av Harachaman. God is our Heavenly Father. And He loves us even more than a father could ever love his son. And we know the greatest love in the world is that of a parent to his son. A lot of times parents are willing to sacrifice anything for their child to become a doctor, lawyer, successful. They don't sleep. Mothers are willing to put sleepless nights. Fathers are willing to work two out two shifts a day to put their kids to so their kids will have a good life. And God's love to us is much greater than that even. Now If somebody on a constant basis comes to a father and says, you know, your son is a thief. He stole this, he stole that, he stole the bike, he stole... Eventually the father, if he finds out his son is bad, he's going to get into a fight with the son and say, why you steal? Why do you... So the same thing is with us and God. When we talk negative, we bring negative energy in the world because... The most important Kabbalistic rule is God is our shadow. If we give love to the world, love comes back to us. If we think positive, God brings positive. If we're kind to people, God is kind to us. God is our shadow. Now, God has an extraordinary love to the nation of Israel and He doesn't want to punish us ever for the mistakes that we do. But... The way God has set up the mechanism, mechanism of the world is when we say Lashon Hara about fellow Jews, it opens up the lock. God always tells the Satan to keep his mouth shut. The only way the Satan has power to unlock his mouth and come prosecute the nation of Israel and start complaining to God that the Jews did this, 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 is when we say Lashon Hara. Then, God, of course, is the God of justice. God is not blind. He sees everything. He has to punish the Jews. He has to not bring Mashiach. And basically, every time we say Lashon Hara about a fellow Jew, we're kind of twisting Kivyachol, God's arms, and letting him listen to the Satan, say evil about the nation of Israel and therefore bring negative sickness and God forbid bad decrees onto the world and even on a more basic level 
whenever you say Lashon Hara, you're really saying Lashon Hara about God. Because man is in the image of God. So when you, you're kind of saying that God, you made human beings, your creation was a mistake because the human beings that you built weren't good. And this negativity is the source of all, all, all bad bakhti, all problems in the world. So, in these days of the Omer, we read Pirkei Avot, we work on ourselves. It's extraordinarily important to know that the most, one of the most sensitive things that God despises is the evil tongue. When people do character assassination. Somebody in my congregation told me he has a cousin. Three times she was about to get married. And then there's somebody evil. Evil Knievel in their family. Three times she got her engagement messed up. Because you know, worse than a nuclear bomb is the tongue of people that have a bad 